Have you ever wondered why Moses has horns? Wait, those are horns? Yep. This sculpture by Michelangelo shows Moses with two goat-like horns coming out the top of his head, but he didn't start this tradition. In fact, Moses had been depicted with horns for several centuries before Michelangelo. So what's that about then? Is it, is it anti-Semitism? Please tell me it's not anti-Semitism. Yeah. But it didn't start out that way. It actually started as a mistranslation. In the Latin version of Exodus, Moses was described as cornutam, which can mean both shining and horned. It's unclear exactly when this happened, but at some point before the 12th century, someone misinterpreted this description of Moses and began the tradition of adding goat horns to depictions of the leader of the Israelites. Now, the problem in Christian Europe with horns is that they're associated with the devil. And unfortunately, horned Moses likely contributed to anti-Semitic stories and illustrations about Jewish people having horns, a stereotype that lasted well into the 20th century and even still exists today.